you've cut and glued all of your armour together, everything's perfect, it fits perfectly and it's ready to troop. But how do you get it there and how do you store it? Well, let's have a look at a nice efficient way of fitting a full Stormtrooper suit into one of these type of boxes. Hey there Troopers down here. So as for that little intro, a very common question on the likes of Facebook and forums is what do I store or transport my Stormtrooper suit in? So in the UK, which is where I am, a lot of the popular choices would be a 145 litre carry box from a company in the UK called Homebase. They're very low cost and in my opinion you can fit a full Stormtrooper suit in there and that's what I'm going to show you today. If you wanted something a bit stronger, a bit more fancy, there's the brand Stanley that makes Stanley knives and other tools. They make a more solid box. It is bigger, so you'd need a bigger car, of course. So I would say that's a consideration. If you're looking to get a troop box, make sure it will fit in the boot of your car before you go ahead and purchase it. And then obviously make sure it will fit your kit in as well. So we're gonna have a look today at fitting it all into one of the home base 145 litre boxes. <laughs> So here we go, here's the main case. We've got the lid at the back there. And for me, I like to use something to line the bottom of the case, just to save any wear and tear on your armor. So for me, this is actually a white soft bag that came with some speakers years ago. And I've just kept it. So basically I've got that along the bottom of the case. Underneath that, I've got some essentials like some tape in case anything breaks, a spare headset for my voice system, even just some paracetamol in case you get a headache on a troop uh, as well. Another key thing, deodorant. Uh, you've got your belt as well, your black belt that goes with the thighs. So again, I like to use that to line the bottom of the case. So the first thing that I like to put in here is the torso. Now most people, or a lot of people, have their torso in the original sort of clamshell method. So pretty much the whole armor is connected together. Uh, with this example here, it's using the original bracket system, but this would work if you've got the popper system as well. Now, speaking of poppers, to help this all go together and to all fit, you do have to undo the tab here between the crotch and the butt plate. Uh, and what I do as well, I've got a separate, another one of these bags that I like to put the top of the torso into, just to give it a little bit more protection. So just pull that across there a little bit, and that'll just stop the front surface, which of course is one of the most obvious surfaces that anyone's going to see while you're out trooping so it's probably the most valuable so that now clamshell is fully open no connection here between the butt plate and the crotch and there we go that's all that done so you slide that in there good good first step now to fit your arms and legs in what i do is just put them all together in one piece so you've got your thigh your shins and your arms. The arms on the originals will pretty much be connected. Uh, shoulder bells, that wasn't the case, but that's another story altogether. So you basically just tuck them all in together if you can, depending on your armor, and then those are gonna go together as one main piece. Now for me, I have the shoulder bell up where the actual shoulder is, and then the feet down by the feet. So let's just put this in here. So that tucks into your torso, into the clamshell. And if I just bring it out here, the shoulder is now basically up here, actually poking out of the shoulder hole as you would have on your Stormtrooper suit. And then you do the same for the other side. So of course I've got the other leg, which in this case is the left leg, leg, shin with the uh, sniper plate, and then the arm inside. And this one, you want to have the shoulder at the other end. You want to have it opposite. Bring the thigh out here, I've got the shoulder bell down here, the thigh going down to the shin, and that is then basically all within the torso. So all of your actual main armour parts are basically in the torso. It's fine, and there's plenty of height here, so nothing's going to bounce around on it, so it should be quite secure. Now this is the bit that's interesting. To actually fit the whole suit in, you've got your helmet, and well, it doesn't really fit in there very well, does it? This is why we undid the crotch popper. So you can actually tuck the helmet over the crotch. Now if you just give that a gentle wiggle, give your helmet a gentle wiggle, there we go. Now, if you've aligned it correctly, there's gonna be enough height here that can go over the helmet. If you're in doubt, just get another soft bag of some sort, maybe put it around the helmet. There you go, that'll stop it from rubbing. 
This is actually a spray painted helmet, so you want to be a bit more careful. And there we go. So we've now got, let's just check that's all. Yeah, that's all pretty much where it needs to be, just about. There we go. So you've now got enough height here. So you've got all of it in there. Everyone say hi to the cat. He likes to make cameos on my videos. So that's it. You've now got your main armor, your legs and arms and your helmet. So everything else is just the accessories. So the boots, we'll tuck these in. They'll go in roughly where the shoulders are. Let's pull that down a little bit more. There we go. So I can put the boot in there. Just, it's a tight fit, but it is worth it at the end. The other boot can then sit on top. So these are basically tucked in to the shoulder gap. So the part where your actual shoulder would normally come through. You've got your ABS uh, belt on top with the canvas belt underneath. And this, I find, just tucks in down the side somewhere. That's not crucial, just needs to go in somewhere. And then you've got your accessories like your neck seal. That can just tuck in there. Basically, these last parts, you just tuck around the edges somewhere. The rubber gloves, I like to keep a little bit separate from actual ABS in case the colour somehow comes off. Uh, you've got your thermal detonator as well, which actually I'm just going to tuck inside the neck seal just to stop that from scratching any of the armour. Tuck that in there, there we go. Uh, the voice system, I've actually got a piece of Velcro on here, and a piece of Velcro on here. So that can just connect on, there you go. You've got that in there as well, which is not gonna do any damage to anything. You've then got your soft parts, which are your balaclava, and then your black undersuit. Uh, so again, in fact, I've got a bag, another bag I could use, I would probably keep the black fabric away from the armour and the belt just in case somehow the colour comes out so what I would probably do is just wrap that in another bag uh, for now I'll just tuck it in here but again if you've got another bag just to keep that away from the arm that would be perfect and maybe you've got some cotton undergloves that you wear under your rubber gloves now the only thing missing is the blaster so what I like to do here I've actually created some straps that are connected here there's some screws well nuts and bolts to go through so my blaster, if I unclip this, I would then just unclip that as well. Put the blaster into the holster. I don't have it on me, so I won't show you. Put the blaster in. Put this piece of foam over the top just to stop the blaster from rubbing out the paint. Click this in, click that in, and you're away to go. So basically your blaster is then contained in the holster. Now, this part of the blaster will sit right the way down here. So you can basically go like this, Put that on and you're ready to treat. There we go. Okay. So there we go, that's it. That's how to fit a whole Stormtrooper suit into one of the 145 litre boxes. They're very, very low cost, very easy to wheel about. You'll see from the photo, I've actually put a bungee cord on the front of mine as well. So you can just pull it along. But that's it. I hope that's been useful, showing you how it all fits into that one case. Any questions, drop them in the comments. And if you have enjoyed, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.